Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and this is a little quick daily pick a card reading for Monday the 21st of November but obviously it's timeless. Um, so pile number one is the Amazonite, pile number two is the Blue Appetite and pile number three is the Pink Rhodochrosite. So I will just give you a minute to choose your pile and obviously if you want more time you can pause the video, right? <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to move these guys out of the way and we will start with pile number one, the uh, Amazonite. I love that crystal, like it's so clean looking, if you can see it. There you go. It's just so clean, it's like a piece of chalk, just love it. Okay, so you have the Page of Pentacles. You have Great Fortune and you have Journey. Interesting. So pile number one, you have some kind of business opportunity coming in. That's what it feels like. It feels like business or money. Um, like it's a great opportunity and it's going to lead you to a lot more money. Um, you know, I might pull some more cards on this like at the end uh, of the video. I might pull some more cards on this particular pile just to see if we can clarify a bit what this is. But I feel like you're, there's a new business opportunity or a career or learning opportunity um, where you're kind of on your journey to great fortune. Like it's going to lead you to a lot of money. It's going to lead you to abundance. It may even be something where you're kind of more in the public eye or you get more of attention or something. Um, I don't know, like a promotion, right? Or maybe if you've got a platform, like your platform's about to take off. But see, with Journey, you may you may actually be moving as well to take the position. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to pull more cards on this at the end. Okay, so if you want to, if you want more about this, check out you know the end of the the video. So that was your message pile number one. Thank you so much for um, checking out the video and I wish you many blessings, love and light. Pile number two, you were the blue appetite. You have the knight of pentacles. So you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Capricorn. You have courtship and you have house. Alrighty. So you, this is a dating pile, okay, um, there's someone kind of slow moving coming towards you, it could be a Virgo or a Capricorn, but it's really stable, like it's a really, really stable connection with the house. Um, they may even be, you know, depending on your stage of relationship, there's maybe someone asking you to move in with them. Um, or it may be that you you end up moving in with this person quite soon into the relationship or something, but it's going to be very, very stable, okay? They, like, they may have been very slow moving, but it's very stable. So pile number two, that was your message. I hope it resonated and you found it useful. Thank you for checking out the reading. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. In pile number three, you were the pink rhodochrosite you have. The King of Wands, oh, the Coffin, and you have Poverty. Okay, I feel like this is some kind of ending. It could be with a fire sign. Um, or someone with fire in their chart, which would be Aries Leo Sag. I feel like this is someone who kind of left you out in the cold with the Poverty card, because that always puts me in mind of the Five of Pentacles, so I feel like this is someone who, like they, yeah, they may have ghosted you or left, left you out in the cold or something like that, but I feel like there's just an ending coming. So there may be a conversation happening with this person where you end up being like, no, that's definitely not happening. Or maybe it's someone who's in your life who's a bit of a player or something like that, like very charming, very good looking, but they've kind of left you out in the cold, like you're never sure where you stand with them and I feel like you're just about to end it, you're just, be like, you're just like, no, no, we're done. So, 
Yeah, that's your message pile number three. I hope that was useful. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Um, pile number one. So let's go back into this. This is going to be a bit awkward because of where the camera is. Um, I might actually do some shuffling off camera. Hold on a second. Hello, pile number one. So, um, yeah, this opportunity that's coming in, I have a lot of cards here, okay, so just bear with me. You're going to have to make some kind of decision about this opportunity. It's some kind of wish fulfillment and it represents like triumph. It's something that's going to make you really happy, some kind of opportunity that's coming in. Um, it could involve traveling or moving abroad for some of you, you know, but that doesn't mean that that's for all of you. See with the Queen of Swords and the High Priestess, it's something about using your knowledge, something about using information that you have acquired. Particularly with the Justice card here as well and the Queen of Swords, it could be to do with writing for some of you. Um, but it's basically to do with like passing on some kind of knowledge that you have to the world. Um, And it may also be kind of arty, like with the Queen of Cups and the Moon, that could talk about something that's kind of arty. Um, or using your intuition, or like having to use emotions, like some kind of caregiver as well, it could be that too. Because I know there's different people watching this reading, so the Queen of Cups can be like art, um, caregiving, uh, working for a charity, things like this. And you also have the Knight of Pentacles in Justice. So this is something that's going to be very balanced that comes in for you. Like, it's going to be very, very stable. And obviously with the Justice card as well, that can talk about law. Um, or anything kind of bureaucratic, like, some, you know, like that. And I mean that in a non... I know bureaucracy has a kind of negative term, but I don't mean it like that. I just can't think of another word. Um, but Queen of Swords can also be like talking, someone that's good at speaking or writing or giving information. So like I don't like a barrister, for example, right? Or like anything to do with law or the courts. It could be an opportunity like that. But it's something very stable. Because I don't know if you've been having like a little bit of issue with your career, with the Five of Swords, like wondering what you're gonna do or being stressed out by your career in some way, but I see you leaving instability and stress about your career behind you. Because look, you have the Five of Swords again, came out twice. So, you know, maybe you're working in a shitty place with like a lot of fighting or something like that as well. Um, because I see you moving towards something very stable. Like it, it's, it's gonna be very, very stable for you. You also have this Ace of a wand here so it's going to be something that you really enjoy that um you're really passionate about and you see how there's all the if i can get it to focus long enough you have like the the quill and the book and the music and the painting um it could be like writing painting creating something writing music I feel like it's something, yeah, for at least some of you, this is something creative. Um, and you also have here, within the next few weeks, I don't know why I felt the need to pull extra cards on this, I just did. Yeah, within the next few weeks, take action and you're ready. So I always see the take action as kind of the Knight of Swords. So this may be something that comes in very quickly over the next few weeks. And they're saying you're ready. So don't feel like you're not ready for this. You also have put on your game face. Focus, you piece of crap. There we go. Is that focus now? Oh my God. Put on your game face. You should at least explore your options. Consider your choices. And you may have a life-changing decision. So, 
you're ready, okay? Put on your game face. Fake it till you make it, right? Even if this is a position that you're like, damn, can I do this? Because I think it either gives you a lot of money almost immediately or it's something that is going to lead to a lot of money. And also for some of you, you, you might have to travel for it or you might have to move for this, but that's not for everyone. So you can do this. They're saying you're ready. Put on your game face. It's time for you to do this now, whatever it is. And you should, they're saying you should at least consider it. Okay, you should at least consider this. Because you're going to have choices here and it's, I, I, it's going to change your life, like whatever this is. And I feel like it's to do with money. Like a, a career opportunity. Alrighty, so pile number one, that was your like mini extended reading. I hope it was useful. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light.